Hello there, this is Tom Meeks of the Cuba 5 Fans blog and also of the Moment of Inspiration Users blog, moiusers.blogspot.com. Well, we're continuing to use circles as an introduction to the features of Moment of Inspiration. But now we're going to move into something that I really have a lot of fun with, and that's Boolean operations. It makes a Moment of Inspiration very powerful. Let's select a top view and we'll draw two circles. Now we can work in uh, Boolean operations with both the 2D and the 3D objects. So we're first going to look at how 2D objects are affected uh, with Boolean operations. There are four Boolean operations, difference, union, intersection, and merge. Let's start with difference. Difference says first select a base object. It's important. The, uh, the order in which you do things in difference is very important. So I'm going to select this little one here. And I'm going to say done as my base object. Now it says select the objects to subtract. Okay, I'll do that and say done. Notice that the subtraction object has disappeared, leaving the base object with a cutout that was caused by the uh, profile of the subtraction object. So let's undo that right now. Now we're going to do the same thing, Boolean difference, select the base object. We'll take the top, we'll say done, select the object to su subtract. We'll use the bottom circle this time, done. And now you'll see the same thing has happened, but two different, uh, but an entirely different way. Because we selected this first, this stays around, the other disappears, and before it disappears, it makes a cutout of its shape. So let's undo that. Now I can make that stay around. We're going to select difference. I'm going to select my base object, done. But this time I'm going to say keep objects. And now I'm going to select my circle. And you'll notice now that that circle has stayed around. It doesn't look very much different, except that now we don't see a segment here. Why is that? Because if I move this aside, you can see that it has made a cutout, just as it did before. And so this was the base object with the cutout. This cut that object and then stayed around. Well, let's back this up. There we go. Now we're going to move on to something entirely different, Boolean union. Now with union, it says select objects to union. In other words, now we're going to select, before we say done, two objects, both of these objects, and I'm going to say done. And notice that it dropped the intersecting points, the uh, lines, and it created one object with an outline around the shapes that we had overlapped. And so that's a, a very useful thing. We used that in the last tutorial. Let's undo that. We're going to go to something slightly different, Boolean intersection. And again, we're going to select objects, but it says select the first object set. Well, actually, we're going to select one object, although you can select more. And I'm going to select that first object. I'm going to say done. And it says the second object set. Okay, I'll select that. And we'll say done. And now what has happened is the first object cut into the second object and left the shape of that intersection. And then both of those objects disappear. Again, we could keep the objects if we wanted to, but I'm going to undo this now. Now, what did, what did it mean by an object set? Let's, um, let's just do something really quickly here. Control C, Control V, and I'll move this up here and, um, and so forth. There we go. We have two of them. So we can actually do that with a set of objects. Boolean intersection. So I'm going to select the first object set. There we go. And I say done. Select the second object set. And now you'll know, notice that we have something shaped like leaves. So this can be very useful if you have multiple objects that you want to make a certain shape and you want to use circles to do that, that would be pretty cool. You could make uh, flowers, leaves, and so forth with that. Now I'm going to get rid of this for, for now. The, the next thing we're going to look at 
is the merge. Merge is a bit like difference and a bit like intersection. Let me show you why. I'm going to select this and this because it says select objects to merge. All right, we are merging these objects. I say done. Now, when I pull this away, you will notice that it merged the the part of the objects that were intersecting merged together and became cutouts for the objects that stayed around. So this can also be pretty useful to do special effects. So I could drop this down here nice and close. And if I extruded that out, you know, it might be some very interesting looking things uh, as we extru extrude those out. All uh, can perfectly in alignment with each other because we've used merge to create them. Well, now let's go back and see what happens. Let's go back and undo all of this till we get our two circles. There we go. I'm going to now, I think we need to go a little bit further. There we go. Now we have our two circles back. Now I'm going to extrude these circles. And we're just going to say 20. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to our split screen now, and um, so we can kind of see what we have. There we go. Now we have two cylinders that we've created, and I'm going to move one of these cylinders up, right? And I'm going to get rid of our circles on the bottom. We don't need those; they'll just get in the way. Now we have two cylinders and they're overlapping each other. So we're going to play with a few things here. First of all, let's go back through our different Boolean operations. We have difference. Difference says select the base object. Done. Now select the object to sub subtract. I'm going to say don't keep the object, and I'm going to select this. Done. Now you'll notice that I now have a cutout where that subtraction object was undo and notice the order makes a big difference this time i'm going to select this boolean difference so select the object to subtract it already knew i had that uh, selected done and now you'll notice that whatever first object i had that's the one that's going to stay around the other's going to cut okay now we're going to do this we're going to go to boolean union watch this if I let me uh, cancel when I select this item and then I select this item they're individual items see this one and then this one they're individual but watch this I'm going to select these two go union and now as I select one I select both because now they are one single item made from two items that's pretty cool I'm going to undo that and you'll go back Let's see, I need to undo and undo. Yeah, there we go. There's two separate items again. Now let's look and see what, what uh, Boolean intersect does. This is even more interesting when you come up with 3D objects. I'm going to select the first object set, done. Second object set, done. And look, both of those disappeared and we're left with this shape that was the intersection of those two objects. And now finally, we're going to say merge. Select the objects to merge. There we go. Done. Now, if they look like they're the same, right? Not until we move them away do we find out that we have two different, or three different now, pieces. We've created a third object from this. It's really fun to use Boolean logic. Most of the time, you're going to be using difference and union. But every now and then you can use intersection or merge to do special effects with your 3D objects or your 2D objects. And uh, you'll use this a lot. It really is a great shortcut. I hope this was fun. Talk to you later.